Hello, welcome to the final career mode episode of the weekend. The double uploads have been coming thick and fast as always this weekend. I hope you guys have been enjoying the career mode up to this point. Before we get into anything, I just want to say thank you for the final time uh, for 200 subscribers. I really appreciate it and the way that it's grown thanks to this career mode. I think career, this career mode has been a big part of the growth. If you haven't looked back at the first episode yet, or if you haven't watched any of the episodes yet, I suggest you go back and watch them all. The first episode has over a thousand views, I believe like 20 likes, so that's a big total for me. I know it's not a big total in like general YouTube game, but that's a big total for me. So thank you guys once again for the thousand views, and most importantly the 200 subscribers. I hope you guys can continue to support the channel, and continue to enjoy the career mode. So, now that's out of the way, we're going to check what happened last episode. Check quickly, I should say. Um... We uh, go back into our yo-yo form as we lost 2-1 to Rochdale, undeservedly, but a loss is a loss. It should have been a draw, I, in my opinion, in my managerial opinion. My managerial expertise would tell me that we should have drawn, but we didn't. Anyway, let's take a look at some news. We saw a Rossi article here, and um, I'll talk to you about it in a second when it comes up. I haven't played him for two games, so obviously that means that he's never playing... Oh, sorry, three games. So that means he's never playing again. If he's not going to get a chance at Bradford City, Ricardo Rossi is prepared to try elsewhere. So uh, he's not playing for three games. It suddenly feels like he has to go. Anyway, Rob Rochdale grabbing a shocking win against Bradford. Ha, ha, ha. That was cool. I mean, it wasn't really that shocking. I Probably just... I'd probably say we're equal, to be honest, and that game kind of showed it, because the really stats were so equal. But since Rossi's been complaining, I made the change at the end of the last episode. Rossi is going to be starting in goal. Don't make me regret this, Rossi, honestly, because I am not in the mood after losing to Rochdale. I thought maybe we could go on the win streak this weekend, win all four games in our double uploads sort of situation, but we didn't. We lost again, and uh, nine wins and five losses for us. Peterborough... Go further away from us now, ten points clear, and I feel I feel like we're just running out of steam already for the promotion race, which is kind of annoying. I don't want to like finish outside the playoffs. I want to get to the playoffs if I can. But I need a good run of form, and I can't seem to find it right now. But anyway, we're gonna go into the game against Oxford, and this is the squad we're gonna use. Another change, or another two changes, I should say, because Beaton comes back into the starting lineup ahead of Akpan, who pissed me off last game where he just couldn't pass anything to any of our team. So we've got Rossi and Gogo, Kakachi and Henley as the full-backs, Worrell and Hennessy, obviously, as the set-backs, as per usual. But Carton and Beaton in the middle of the park. We've got Carbonero and Holoshek as the attacking midfielders. And up front, we've got Mason Greenwood and Jordan Roberts. So without any further ado, let's just head into it. We've not got much else to cover, I don't think. I forgot to save the career mode again. I just realised that as soon as I click play match. So hopefully nothing happens in this episode where I have to... Uh, Abandon it. With the game crashing or something, so we just have to hope. Although, to be fair, it'll raise our loss against Rochdale. <laughs> Take out with the block. See, why can't I defend, defend like this in the actual match? So annoying. Anyway, we're going to go into it. Forget the skill games. Dun, 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 dun. And welcome to a game that really should have pulses racing. Every reason to believe this. Right, we need a win to push Under ourselves to the playoff squad because I'm getting sick of not being in that playoff area. Live coverage of this League One fixture. It's Bradford City, and they face Oxford United. And we should be beating Oxford. They're down towards the other end of the table. In this one, quick tempo. Who can be the dominant force in the first 20 minutes? They could get the upper hand in this one. Yo-yo form for Bradford City continues, as you saw. And the line the two wins the for the Saturday double upload. And then, obviously, the for the first upload of today, we got a loss. It's all signs, realistically, point to another loss. I just want to try and break the pattern. Very solid look about this team. Anyway, should be an interesting game anyway. Hopefully, we don't see any dumb goals but I mean it's FIFA 20 so not holding my breath and 
Here is the Bradford City. Oh, look, we are the Bradford City team. But was, we are the home team, even. I'm so dumb, honestly, like, realistically. Ox are quite a strong team. Yeah, but a beatable team. They've got Cameron the Brannigan, who is a young player, I believe, on loan there from the Liverpool. Liverpool. Don't quote me on that. We'll They've actually got quite a decent lineup, so this might be a struggle. Knowing me, it'll be a struggle. Every game's a struggle. Anyway, Robert's going to kick off the game. Usually it's Greenwood, but for this, for for now, now we've got two strikers. It's going to be it's going to be Robert's kicking off, which is. A different. I'm just going to do some keep up. It's just to warm up my feet and let's get going. Greenwood to beat on. On to Henley. We're going to cross field it like so. To the sound of rapturous applause. McCarter to beat on. That's a Henley. And then we're going to do the same again. <laughs> this, is the, this is the way to attack, Lidge, I promise. Picace coming in a little bit now for the side. Carter and Greenwood. Off the beat on. Back to Greenwood, even though it was intended for Roberts. It's quite funny that, how I intended to go somewhere else and didn't go to where I wanted to go. And now they can counter. Digging too long, and now Bradford have managed to uh, get some defenders back. Quarrel ahead, is it nowhere? Overhead kick attempt, valiant attempt. He could have just really his shoulder on that. Foster puts it way wide with the acrobatic attempt. Eight minutes in, he's already tried the overhead kick. Rossi passing it short to Hennessy. Worrell is the target, but of course it's FIFA 20, which means it's going to work. Good interception. I think that was Henley. Can we just bring the ball away from danger? Please. Thanks. Oh, no, we've just lost possession again. And my centre midfielders aren't there, I don't think. In the head. Fosu. Kache heads it back to Grill. Oh dear, this is going to be a struggle. Struggle of a match, I can already tell. They're pushing hard for three points here. Beat on. Always interesting to find a side going against the grain of Fucking but in a negative way. Cunt. And that certainly applies to Charlton athletically. Well, the start of the season, Stop talking about Charlton. Grab the phone down the table, I don't the really title. care. Still a way Beat to on. Go, but they're pretty off the pace. they really are. Roberts, Greenwood's asking quickly. for a ball through, but he's not even running through. What's the fucking point in asking for the ball through then? Can I get some options from anyone on my team? They might be able to get in what? Now. My defence are really getting on my nerves at the moment. They're just... Watford has been allowed to... Or sorry, Oxford, I should say. Not Watford, I'm thinking a bit above my station there. Watford, uh, Oxford are just allowed to break through without any, like, problems. My players can't pass. Energy blocks. I I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to pass it in the games like that doesn't work, you're not allowed to pass there or there or to any root team. Block by Hennessy anyway. Thumbs up. From I believe that's Henley, I might be wrong. Anyway. Let's just get us away as quick as we can. Kick played over. Rossi punches away. Catch is going to chase. Cross is back in. Hennessy didn't get the header because pretty sure one of them got it and put it wide. We are getting our asses handed to us so far. The commentator said at the start the team that's most dominant in the first 20 minutes will go on to win the game. And I don't think I've had a chance yet. <laughs> right. Yep. Right, go to my player. Uh -huh. Carton, Beaton, Oloshek. Oloshek's accepted because they can just 
I don't know how this, they're so good and then they end up like being so low down the table. An attack full of promise. Useful ball towards the back. Like I know they've got a good team, but like how are they so low down the table if they've got a good team? Just, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just going to run with the one player that gets the ball, I guess. Good technique displayed. And space for the cross. So after that, I'm struggling, honestly. I like think it's just, I don't want to play FIFA anymore, but I need to record four episodes. Luckily, this is the final one I have to record for today. It's the second of Sunday's double upload. I did the I brought a double upload thing on myself, so it's my own fault, really. But still, I digress. Rossi. McCartan. Carbonero. I tried to pass it through to Roberts, so that shows you how the fucking accurate the passing on this fucking game is. If he gets there first. No, no, no. Well, that's no, no. Very smart defending and Fosu the is again. apparently the fastest player in the game. To <sighs> I love passing it and it just doesn't register. My actual favourite. Good interception though from Hennessy to get the ball back. McCartan. I fully thought Carbonero was going to make a run through there and he didn't. Okay, that was useful. Beats on him with a tackle. Roberts. Loshek. Oh, good save from Eastwood. Our first real chance of the game. Carton's going to get yellow. First chance of the game for Bradford City. Falls off Loshek and he's put it on target, which is not the baddest thing to do. I feel like going to be another Charlton game. He's fired over the corner. Well, punch happy, the keeper. Cleared away by Oxford quite easily, and now they can counter, and they probably will because well, apparently they've got the fastest players on the pitch on the planet. Oh, fucking Christ. He must finish. Given the position I thought he was, was going to pass it across. I kept that option closed as much as I could, and Henry well, was forced to shoot, and he's not put it just wide in the end of the day. This first half has been a nightmare. We've got one more game of October after this against Fleetwood. Obviously, that'll be Monday's video. And we'll move on to November. The two months off the of transfer window. I don't like when people call for it. And I'm expecting them to run through when they call it for it. Like, yeah, I'll get this. I'll run through. And then they don't run through. Very good save from Rossi. They're just getting through too easily. I don't know what the fuck is going on in my defence, but they're just getting through too easily. This is going to be now a Charlton game, isn't it? Where they have all the attacks, and I just get one lucky bloody goal or something. Anyway. Corner to Oxford, just before the 40th minute. Henry going to deliver it in the area, most likely. Yep. Head of the way. Carbonero comes across. Very nice tackle. Henley. Beats on now. Back to Henley. And he's going to put all the gas on this now. Foster's going to catch up with him because of course he is. I don't have any options. Can you? Can I at least get a passing option instead of everyone running into the box expecting a cross? Also, how is Foster so damn fast? Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be in. Um, how are my players so damn out of position every time? Can he take shit off, just shit and off. This game is so fucking dreadful. Well, what's the time to score? They deserve to win, but what the fuck are my defenders doing? Worrell didn't do anything. Hennessy didn't do anything. Henley ran into the net. Didn't even try and defend her. It wasn't Henley. It was fucking number 16. Who the fuck is number 16? I don't... Whatever. This game just fucking hurts my head. 
I don't even know who the fuck number 16 is. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. B Tom, probably. I don't know. I'm going to pass it to number 16 just to see who it was. It was B Tom. Oh, fuck's sake, man. We could have gone in with a 0 0 and tried to bring it back, but no. We have to concede because my defence can't do anything. None of my players are in position. Look at, look at Oxford's defence. Roberts. Are you fucking kidding me? How am I meant to get through that? How the shit am I meant to get through their whole team being there, defending, and then suddenly whoosh, they're up the pitch. They're just too fast. Not to be too blunt about it, but this has been a struggle for him up front It's been a struggle for everyone up front. It's been a struggle for my whole team. My defenders have taken leave of their fucking senses. Oh, I'm sick of the rage at this game, but it's just so fucking dog shit sometimes. Uh, sick of getting mad at this game, but it gives me so many reasons to. Burton Albion losing once again. It's so we, so uh, I give Rossi a chance. He's actually not done too bad, but fucking uh, I don't know. I need something to change with this team, honestly, in general. Because they play so good sometimes and play so shit others, and I don't know what's changing in between. Oh, just honestly, fuck off. I just, I was remembered McCartan's one with the yellow. Look at this play. Why can't my players do this kind of play? Beat on. Floshek, please. Sake, man, they just know every time. They've just, I think they've just signed every single fast player on this game. It has gone over the we'll win the floor in anyway. They don't even play a good five at the back, but it feels like they are. Henry's gonna get yellow here for that, I'm assuming. The referee has deemed that to be a bookable yep. offence. Absolutely agree with that one. Anyway, I just need to try and, I don't know, stay calm. Which is difficult when this game just continuously bends me over. Look at that! I can't be fucking arsed! Room to maneuver on the way. What sort of touch is that from Bloody Worrell? A really sumptuous ball. Fuck off. What the fuck are my team doing? Increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. What the hell are my defence doing, honestly? Just look at the keeper. He thinks he's coming out. And Where are my centre backs? In the back of the net. He's a little bit unlucky. Where on this fucking planet are my centre backs? How the fuck can they just attack so fast like that as well? They're just like whoosh. You can't catch them. You can't tackle them either because they just get the ball straight back. I actually don't want to play the rest of this game. I want to fucking quit now. There's nothing I can do. They could they have eight people or nine people at the back, and suddenly they just zoom up front. I can't do fucking shit about it. All their players are faster than Carbonero. Carbonero is like 90 something pace, which is crazy. They shut down every option so fast. I can't make anything. Beat on anyway gets the ball. Roberts. Roberts. A glorious chance. Greenwood, why are you backwards? Substitution time it is. I'm going to make substitution like it fucking matters. He has time to play it over. Now this could really lift spirits. He's got everyone there. They're, they're, everyone's back. So a throw in here. What the fuck is my player doing? What is Meller doing? I don't know if that's Meller. Who is it? I don't know who the fuck it is. How is that their throw? More. Did my player kick it off? 
And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Tremendous intuition to win it back. Meller wins the ball. Or, sorry, Henderson wins the ball because it's Meller, not Beaton. Beautifully well. Habanero. Preparing to go infield. Will he finish? Somebody put it in the fucking back of the fucking net. Holoshek, just shoot when I'm immediately telling you to. I don't know what the delay is all about. How has Fosu still got energy, man? Excellent ball over the top. Uh, 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 Tackle him, Hennessy. Don't. Oh, Be Tom. Just keep possession. That's all I'll ask for you. Yeah, cool. Cool. All right. Karen. Can't make the pass through because why would he be able to? They just know exactly where I'm going to go with it every single time. Options around him. Can they get How are these guys still low on the table when they're playing like fucking Premier League not team? I'm not really subbing Greenwood really off. We need him. Look at that spot on. Not that then it's going to make a difference now. The ball is floating. That shows FIFA 20 for the fucking shit it really is. <sighs> Don't take a heavy first touch. Okay, I mean, there's no review, Never. so I guess it's fine. Near Biton. Oh, Biton just to ignores me. Biton's like, oh. Oh, I think Biton might be the worst signing I've had so far. Just the cross is on. Oh, and he blocks. Last to beat on. Look at them. Look how fast they get back. Look at everyone back. Carbon for Carbonero. Shocker. It's not going to make it fucking through. Fuck off. With this shit game. They just know everything going everywhere. They know where everything's going to go. They can do anything, everything about it. My players couldn't intercept a pass if it was fucking like the live goal. Kikachi doesn't know what he's doing. Ball, Please header this away. That's, I guess that's... Yeah, sure. Whatever. Look how fast they all fucking are. Yeah, yeah, cool, beat on. You just pass it to them, honestly. On the flank. Look how fast their fucking passes are. It's like it's lightning speed play. passes. They can just make it through without anybody trying to intercept it. I'm not going to make another substitution. Yeah, fuck it. Honestly, we've lost. I was give Vaughn some game time so he doesn't complain. I just don't understand what I'm doing wrong. One game I play really well and destroy, but next fucking game I just capitulate. My defence, don't even know how to spell defence, and it just falls apart. My passing is completely shit because I've got no options to pass to because they're just closing it all down. It's with James Vaughan. He's going to be offside, isn't he? Yeah. Fuck off. So Stay onside, you offside stupid Czech verdict. Republic well, cunt. That's his job, the linesman. Give those tight offside decisions and get them right. Ten minutes left for play in this match. Henri. Good technique. There's no way that's Henri. That's Henry. I'm sorry. I'm not calling him Henri. In possession, Mella. Disrespectful to Thierry. And now passing it through. It should be the big moment for him. Can't score. Kevin score. They're just too good. They're just too good. Anyone on their team could do anything. They want. They're all former Premier League players in the past life. Well, the coach needs a chance to go in and go in soon. Growing frustration etched on his face. Whenever I get a win, I have to get a loss. Whenever I get two wins in a row, yep, you guessed it. Two losses. I have to keep a pattern. Well, punch happy, the keeper. It's opening up for them. What can he do from here? Oh, just pass it straight to the Hennessy, honestly. You know what? Fuck this, honestly. Fuck it. Oh, Rossi's in one round of his goal, okay. Oh, no, he does. He didn't want to run that far. Okay, fair enough. That's, Rossi, this is why I don't give you a. Op I, I just don't want a goalkeeper, to be honest. I'll probably do better with that one. Bit on. 
Pretty sure both our goals have been easily savable. Just, I don't know what, I move to the pass instead of the pass having to go to you all the time. And that way it doesn't get intercepted. Beat on with the throw. It doesn't matter at this point where it goes or who it goes to. So I'm probably going to get tackled. Greenwood. <laughs> who would have guessed? <laughs> fuck, the fuck off, man. Score th Are you? They actually scored a third. I was joking about them actually scoring third. Rossi, what the fuck? You don't have a place at Bradford if you're gonna say fucking shit like that. You can fuck right off out the door, honestly. I just need a good goalkeeper. Where are they all? I've not got any at my club. And everyone's just got better goalkeepers, even when they're probably lower rated and fucking older. Rossi's like 17 or 18. 73 rated. You think, hey, he's going to be a good goalkeeper. He's going to be insane. No, he likes this fucking shit. And what the hell is that? I am so mad. I'm on a rant now. This fucking game. It actually, it actually will kill me, this game. I might actually at this point stop with double uploads because for some fucking reason I can't fucking get a win streak anymore. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. <sighs> Whatever. Take the ball off me, get a four. Go on. I'm blowing this fucking dick. So why the fuck are Oxford so good then? In like, whatever position they're in. And the final analysis are really they're probably the best team I've played all season, alongside Peterborough. Well, he played well, scored a goal. What a Peterborough are top. Obviously I played Sheffield United as well, they were good. But they're already above us in a different league, they're in the championship. But within the league... I think Oxford are the strongest team I've faced besides Peterborough. Or a lot, maybe as well as Peterborough. Maybe they're equal. I don't fucking know. What I do know is we've lost 3-0 and we can't get a bloody win streak going for shit. Because my players just don't perform. We should have had a, I, four shots on target, three goals. That kind of tells you I need a new goalkeeper. I, anyone. I will, take, I will even bring up bloody whatever his face is from the reserves. Or from the academy and use him. A gay was the band of the fucking match. Fucking fuck. Brannigan with an 8.1. Fosu, the speed machine who would never be stopped with an 8. Gorin with an 8.1. Everyone had decent matches. McMahon with an 8.1. Everyone was good on their team. Our best player was Kakachi. That kind of tells you everything that you need to know about our team. Burton lost 3 0. Hey, so did we. We're in the Burton club. Peterborough, I didn't even check the result in time. They drew. I've got a stream, so whatever. Uh, some questions regarding the match. <sighs> Fair to say it was a tough match. What do you think it went wrong today? The goalkeeper. Blame is mine. Yeah, I think we started a little sluggish straight and never really got into the game. Obviously, as a manager, I took full responsibility for putting that fucking Italian cunt in goal. Bradford City did not manage to score today, ended up losing the game. What went wrong? Oxford United are a fucking Premier League team, apparently. Squad says, all. Oh, Oxford United were the better team. We have to play better for our next game. They, I don't know if they've had a financial, if Oxford like, had a billionaire takeover or something, but those players were way too good. That's ridiculous. Yeah, he's a really good player. Fuck it. Again, he's a really good player. He's making a difference at Oxford United. My players can learn something from watching him in action. Like how not to fucking suck. That'll be all. Thank you so much. We can even make a simple pass. I've got to try and find some new techniques for passing. I'm giving myself a headache. You've actually got a headache now. I've got to find some new techniques for passing. Boss, unless I get selected more. I, this is not the time. This is not a time, James. James, this is not a time. Boss, unless I go to select more often, I have to consider my future here. Can you indecisive moments? Why are you still a... Why are you still a crucial? I'm going to have to change his contract. No, oh, fuck it. That's what I'm going to do. Just doesn't ask for as many games.
So you only just know. 6.8. That's fair. He realizes now he's important and he's getting less wage. That's fine. That's fine. Vaughn's happy to take a pay cut and he's happy to go down to important. So maybe he'll ask for game time less. No new items. Yeah, we already answered it anyway, so I'll probably play him at some point. Honestly, I don't know who to play and where to play him at the moment because everything just doesn't want to work. I don't want any of these goalkeepers. Maybe I'll bring up Gofarov or Sokolov, to be honest, because... Grill, he's having good moments. In fact, actually, Grill was, wasn't a problem, to be honest. It's fucking me. It's Rossi asking for game time. Grill was a little bit shit in the Rochdale game, but... It's the fact that fucking Rossi asked for game time and my dumb ass gave him it. Let's try and give uh, What's his fucking name? O'Leary some drills to try and actually make him to a good player. Because Hennessy was kind of on the same sort of thing. He was kind of really, really bad. Like 53 rated or something. And he had quite a bit of potential. So maybe we could have another uh, Hennessy in our hands here with O'Leary. Gorov goes up to 55. I haven't given Conti any drills. I feel like he deserves a break for once. We'll sim up to, I believe it's Fleetwood next. Mason Carr found all he could in France. Alright. We've got one scout in Italy. We'll try Spain. for the scouting update from Deary. Pierce Lynch can go, Barry Quinn can go, Andrew Connolly can go, Joseph White can go. Beautiful squad report, honestly. Scout report, whatever the fucking word is, I don't care. We've got a game on Halloween against Fleetwood. And uh, we've got a pre-match press conference. They're going to be saying, oh, you can't get promotion anymore, lol. But we, I don't know. I just don't know where to go with this team, to be honest. I feel like maybe mid-table is what we just got to settle for. And then maybe make another push at League One next season. I don't I don't know. But anyway, that's going to end another episode of the Bradford State Career Mode. I'm sorry once again for disappointing. But Oxford, how the fuck they're that low with a team like that and playing like that? I don't know. Our fucking goal difference is just in the shitter. Probably Burton the only team that conceded more than us. <laughs> Fucking hell, Burton are gone. Burton are gone. But anyway, like I said, that's going to be the end of another eventful career mode episode. I really enjoyed doing this one the way that I just got smacked about. I knew I was going to lose before the match. Lo and behold, I lost. I want to try and get back on track at Fleetwood, but at, at this point, I don't know what I fucking, I'm fucking meant to do, to be honest. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you've got any suggestions on what I should do to try and improve... Instead of saying, just get better at the game, you suck, lol. Something like that. Don't say that. Give me some constructive criticism. And uh, I'll take it on board. But uh, just I don't know where it go Because I feel like we can get promotion or at least playoffs. It's just we win a few games. And then at the end, of, and then we just lose a few games straight after. Like, I'll go over our form for October. Or actually, I'll go a little bit further back. So, we beat Ipswich. We lost to Doncaster. We beat Coventry, lost to Macclesfield, beat Charlton and Blackpool, lost to Rochdale and Oxford. You're seeing a pattern there. Every time we win a certain amount of games, you have to lose a certain amount of games after. And that's put us into a shit position because we've won nine and lost six. At this early stage in the season, that is fucking dreadful. That's not promotion form. In fact, how we're even in the top half is beyond me. It must just be the Windsor again. We haven't got a single draw yet, which I guess is good. Sorry, I'm just having a rant here. I should end the episode, let you guys go on your day. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Any constructive criticism, I will be happy to listen to. But yeah, I'll see you another time for some more career mode. We took on Fleetwood at Halloween.